What's up guys? So today we're working on the back end of our 62 Impala project. Uh, we started stripping the paint, got most of that completed, and we decided while we're back here, we're gonna go ahead and fill these factory seams. So we're gonna show you how we did that and what we used. Now when the factory assembles these cars, they take the flanges, they spot weld them together, and then you get left with these kind of ugly factory seams. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here with some silicon bronze and we're gonna fill these seams, we're gonna shape that back down. That way when the car is sent off to bodywork and paint, they can bodywork it nice and smooth, paint it, and you end up with a really nice seamless back end. They don't look very nice at all. And we're gonna make them look nice. I'm gonna make it look nice if it kills me. And how do you do that? With this stuff. <sighs> yeah, I definitely wasn't blessed in the height department. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, just, just hang loose, Taylor. I'm having a really hard time right now, Jake. Really hard. There, you'll feel better. Now. Yeah. <laughs> so on a factory seam like this that we're planning on filling, it's considered a stress point. So if you fill it with your standard body filler or your standard welding rod, which is like ER70S-2, once that's all filled up, over time, after your paint work's done, there's a good chance down the road that that's gonna end up cracking. So we like to use silicon bronze filler. It's great, it's nice and soft, so once you fill up your seam, it's really easy to work and smooth back out. Plus, over time, you're not gonna run that risk of it cracking. It's just like TIG welding, only as you're welding, it's a lot more liquidy. So you just kind of add into that puddle and let it wet out and fill up. A lot of times, I'll make a couple passes over it if I'm trying to fill a deeper joint and uh, hey, you just get after it. So, and then you can see too, down in here, these fact when they put these factory seams together, there's a lot of seam sealer and things in there. So we go ahead beforehand and we try to burn most of that out, but sometimes there's a little bit left over. I'm just kind of burning through it and we'll grind everything back out. seam sealer and all that stuff, it's all coming to the surface as you're burning into it. So like I said, we got most of that out of there, but anything that's left over on the inside of that flange, it's all gonna burn out with the heat and everything, and it's all gonna come to the surface. So I usually just keep burning it out, get it all out of there, and then I'll do a grind on it. And if I'm low in any areas, I'll go back and I'll refill and then grind it again. That's all you can do, really. I mean, in a seam like that where it's dirty. All right, so now that I've got this joint pretty much all the way filled up, I'm gonna come back in here with an angle die grinder and just do like a rough in on it and get all the heavy stuff knocked down. And then I'll come back with a file and clean everything up.
and then I'll go ahead and shave those back down and we should be pretty good to go. So yesterday I came back in here and I added a little bit more weld into these seams just to make them nice and full. Came back, knocked them down with an angle die grinder, did a little bit of hand file in these radius edges and then came back and cleaned them up with the DA. So I repeated that process on all four of these factory seams. Got that all taken care of and now we're ready for body work.